Welcome back to Views and Tears and Jenny's News. This is Jerome Hughes, and we're going to go ahead and get right into today's story on Disney's updates. As a matter of fact, this is a bit of a weird story, as a matter of fact. Or at least I think so. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, yes, we're talking about Woke Disney again, you know. And you know what? It, 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 Woke Disney's always a conversation starter and everything. You can't stop talking about how bad Disney's become and everything over the years. So it's no cho it's no choice but to have the conversation on it. So Woke Disney actually decided to give their old live action boss the boot, as I've report reported before, and brought in a fresh face with a new philosophy. Basically, if a movie doesn't absolutely need to be made, it's not happening. So in other words, that's basically asking should we even make a crappy movie you know what is woke disney actually getting themselves into this time i mean for one it's common sense you know they shouldn't be making a crappy movie but the thing is what are they determining what movie is crappy what movie idea is crappy and what's not all right so in order for that to be ha happening you either bring back john lasseter or at least think like lasseter okay and it's kind of also a bleak outlook but honestly it might just be a win in the disguise and it feels like they might finally be getting the message that we're pretty much tired of the same old reheated recycled live action remakes of our beloved classics okay now it's also about time that they left those masterpieces alone okay leave them in the vault where they belong don't turn them into live action remakes although i do admit i did like the um cinderella live action remake and all of that that's it and started th and they should just start thinking outside the box for once okay and a quick reminder okay there's a shareholders um vote going on this upcoming april okay or in sometime in the spring all right so be on, on the lookout for that as i present that to you all as well now if woke disney's changing course it's not you know out of some sudden en enlightenment or anything it's more like their wallets fill in the pinch in other words they went woke so they went broke Okay, they decided to get what they went broke. Now they've been eyeing these disappointed box office returns and feeling the heat from the all the backlash. Like, uh, maybe we're just remaking everything in live action, and when we're doing that, it's just not the golden ticket we thought it was. But speaking of which, Sean Bailey, the guy who wasn't officially shown the door, but between us, he was definitely on the hunt for a new gig. Clearly sensing his days at Woke Disney were numbered, okay? But for real though, the dude was all about pushing these live action reboots. Remember that, right? And then trying to paint anyone who actually criticized or critiqued the lack of originality just as being haters. And then there's the Little Mermaid, barely scraping by profit-wise, you know? Don't even get me started on Snow White redo, okay? That's a mess with thanks to Richard Zegler as well as Bob Iger for even approving of that. And they're trying to backtrack but it's already a disaster and it's basically too late at this point now the leads out there talking about not needing a prince and the fairest of them all is suddenly about leadership eh, please and, and meanwhile this woke disney's over here trying to patch up woke marvel but it seems to be leaving woke star wars untouched okay because it's and it's, which is why because the stuff they're planning you know they're planning to release you know the acolyte onto disney plus and everything okay and i've and i've mentioned before like room it being a rumor and stuff and people saying that it's not real but guess what it's real it's been filmed and it's going to be released on disney plus soon and it's really going to flop Okay, so it definitely sounds like a, a recipe for disaster. And even Kathleen Kennedy, now Kathleen Kennedy, somehow she's still hanging on. Seems to me that Bob Iger's afraid to fire her because of the fact that she might have a, just a, 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 a little bit of dirt on him. You know, she might be able to um, get some um, goods, get the goods on him as well as other prominent figures in Hollywood. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because that'll be um, that'll just be easier to go ahead and let her go and have somebody else at the helm that actually cared about what George Lucas put out, put out there. OK, but it also makes you wonder what secrets is she holding on to just to keep her spot secure? as the or president of lucasfilm now and to david greenbaum stepping up as a new live action chief you know the guy's got a good head on his shoulders always asking does this movie need even need to exist like it's about time and finally someone's asking the real questions you know it all started with the promise or the you different unique spins like on mulan and alice in wonderland but then they just got lazy you know just redoing the classics without adding anything new they lack creativity that's what all of this simply is okay and the little mermaid 
total flop. They're all about diversity and shaking things up, which is great and all, but it's not hitting the mark at all. Okay, so no shade to Halle Bailey. She she did what she could, but the whole vibe and stuff is way off. And now they're talking about doing a live action for everything, even movies that weren't even hits. Sword of the Stone, Black Cauldron. Really? Now, they had a few wins here and there, I'll admit that, but mostly it's been a miss after miss. Now, they got, they thought they could, you know, keep milking the same cow, but nah, we're not here for it, okay? With Green Bomb at the helm, maybe, just maybe, we may get some genuine creativity. Then again, I doubt it, okay? Because this, he's still working under Bob Iger, and Bob Iger's still pulling the strings. No, and, there, and there's also rumors stating that they're going to do a Bambi remake. A Bambi live action remake. Who even asked for that? They're going to find any excuse to scrape these announced projects and stuff, or scrap these announced projects. I mean, they're going to um, they're going too deep into Snow White to back out now. And but maybe Stitch could pull through. I mean, I've also heard rumors about that that you know they're making changes to it um based on what happened. Like that's other that's different from the animated classic. They already made the animated classic different and stuff and put on before they put on Disney Plus. Who's to say they won't make it much different on live action? Now, Snow White, though, that right, woke Snow White's a lost cause, okay? It's time to cut losses and move on. And Green Bomb's hitting them with the real questions, the ones we've all been um, screaming into the void. And it's about time. something. It's about time someone actually got out there and started doing the same thing that, you know, they did over at Warner Brothers where, um, where I forgot the CEO, the CEO's name, just like um, David Zaslav. It's about time someone did what David Zaslav have done over there at Warner Brothers. Take the movies that aren't releasable, who they're not com confident in, and then just scrap them. Okay, turn it to a, just simply turn it into a uh, um a, a a tax a tax rebate basically. You know, use it for tax, do it for taxing purposes, so that way you can at least get some of the money back. All right, and you know what these um. But the fact of the matter is, will this actually mark the end of the remake era? This It's actually hard to tell. I doubt it, but it's hard to tell. And they've got movies already in the pipeline, so we might have to sit a bit longer, you know, just to wait to see what happens. But here's hoping that we'll see better, um, see less or no reboots moving forward, okay? Now, Walt Disney's got to pivot and, and pivot fast. Because their whole strategy was built on these remakes and stuff. And plus, plus woke Marvel and woke Star Wars. They're passing, they're passing woke Marvel to re, just to regroup. And honestly, the future of woke Star Wars is still in the air. Okay, it's still up in the air. So it's going to be interesting to see how woke Disney navigates from there. Okay, and if they used to, you know, drop a new movie like Clockwork. But now, we might see them hitting the brakes hard. But hey, at least they at least Inside Out 2 is getting some buzz. And this could be a silver lining into all the chaos, which I highly doubt because I guarantee you that's also going to be a big flop. Okay. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts that you might have on this particular topic. If you enjoy what I shared in the video, go ahead and smash the like button and share far wide across social media. And if you haven't done so already, you enjoyed all the content up there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.